whenever my uh, we are free or sit in silence thoughts it is a habit to indulge in thoughts without any interest or without any just any thought with with for which i am not even interested then to avoid or to that situation then i think it's better to listen to some satsang is it right i would say charlotte that this depends on the strength of the of the thinking process in other words if you are not able to simply be there on the bank of the river watching all the debris go down whatever the thoughts are it makes no difference if you are able to do that from a foundation of silence then i would say remain still and sit in the silence if the thoughts are so strong and so repetitive and you have a like a loop going on in your head and you also feel this identification i am these thoughts i cannot escape these thoughts these you know if this is if this is the strength of the thoughts then yes by all means use a different tool you can read a book you can listen to chanting you can listen to a satsang these things will help but understand that that's a temporary um solution to a to a challenge which you are going to have to stand still in and face directly at some point it's a similar thing you know in um yoga in formal and traditional yoga there are different breathing patterns and techniques which are taught because they subdue the mind but it's also well known that these patterns will only subdue the mind this way these various ways of breathing and doing pranayam this will only subdue the mind for as long as that pattern is kept up this is also true in vipassana meditation where mindfulness is breath of breathing is the primary way of anchoring the mind as long as there is re this recognition that i'm following the breath i'm concentrating in breath out breath in between breaths on all of this this will cause the passions of the mind to become subdued but as soon as you get up and walk out into the world then you are once again buffeted by the world or by your own thoughts or by your own conditioning so it's important to recognize that you have to in this conscious process you you need to be able to know which tool is appropriate at what time and what you do that by understanding what is the strength of the phenomenon or the experience that's being that's here at this moment if it's very strong then yes definitely chanting uh controlling the breath um these kinds of practices they will subdue the mind and give you the opportunity to come back into your natural peacefulness your natural calmness but as soon as you stop them then the mind will come right back through its own conditioning so you must understand that you are the one who is here in this process this personality understand that at this moment we're talking about the personality which is still present the motivation for this personality to awaken is coming from the supreme it is coming through the heart of being this is not your motivation but when the conditioning of the personal is still there then you can use this personality to employ whatever tool is necessary to bring you back into the present moment here now and then fall into the silence of your own being at once again so i just encourage you all to become very very kind to whatever you face in your practice become very very kind and very compassionate and do recognize that you have when you need them certain tools which are available to you but as we spoke about with Kamal when there is no need for the tool don't pick one up <laughs> 
because this is the mind just using the spiritual path or the spiritual instruction to continue its own eminence or preeminence. In you is the heart of being, the silence of knowing. That which is here now is aware, and this is enough. This is who you are. So be, whether you use a tool or not, don't be distracted by that. But do understand when a tool is necessary and when one isn't, when you are already moving back into silence as a natural way. And I want to encourage you that for all of you, this will become the way for you. Eventually, you will understand directly that it's no longer necessary for you to really use any tool other than the recognition that which I am is here now. I am the self. This will become the only tool that's required of you. And then you'll pass beyond that and be in this silence of your own being while everything comes and goes and you peacefully sit on the riverbank of your own being. Om Triumphakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Bhushti Vardhinam Urvargamiva Vandhinam Mityor Mukshiya Mamritava Svaha Bhuva Bhu Om Sat Jung Hang Om